alongside the caddy. Michael Collins. I am the Maddie. This is a tradition unlike any other. Welcome to our Augusta National abode just across the street from Augusta National Golf Club in the 87th plane of the Masters Tournament. How many years have we been at this house? This is our third? Yeah. It's our third year. How many times have we been in that pool? This is our nothing year. <laughs> in the pool. And the work we are about to do today for you, the people, we are going to go through the true delicacy of Augusta National Golf Club. This is basically the caviar of the Masters. Mm. Today, we are doing a sandwich review of the Masters sandwiches that everybody gets to eat. Our first sandwich, the classic amongst where these all started, Michael. This sandwich is the mojito, like, of the Kentucky Derby. This is the sandwich. The pimento cheese sandwich. Pimento cheese, the caviar of the South. It's... I don't know about the high I one. Said it. Yeah, I you, said it. You can it say it. It need to be said. You know what it is? When you come to the Masters, this is what everybody is like. Hey, man, we're going to the Masters. We're getting a pimento you cheese You got a sandwich. pimento cheese t-shirt. I did. All right. Yeah. Take your half. Take your half. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. All right. The best. The best of the lot. It's got a nice little spice to it. You love spicy, and so I do. do I. And it, when we say spicy, um, I'll say spicy for people that aren't into spicy. It's not really spicy. It's definitely got a different flavor to it. The texture, if you've never had pimento cheese before, trust me, when I first started coming down here, I was not a fan of this. Now you are. Because you see what it looks like on the inside. Amazing. And a lot of times, I would call this was the biggest joke that everyone played on people because there are people who've never had these come up from the north, come down from the north, take one bite and go huh, and throw it in the trash can. So now if you like pimento cheese and I would say it's an acquired taste, <laughs> these are the best of the six we're going to review. Where do you rank that one? Um, Should we wait on the rankings? Well, because that. How about the engulf? Anyone who lives in the South is going to be, if you don't put that number one, I'm going to hit you with my truck. I know where you're staying. <laughs> uh, in golf parlance, is it an eagle, a birdie, a par, or a bogey? It's a par. Par. No, birdie. <laughs> we scored you, on it's that a birdie. We scored on that For one. you, it's a birdie. For me, it's a par. Now we're going to go to number Next two. sandwich. Which is also, when you hear people talk about coming to Augusta, first you'll hear pimento, and then you'll hear this. This is the egg salad sandwich, which I have a, I have a, an opinion on this one. Really? I, I can't, we're, you can, you, we're gonna do the taste test. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. The, Before you even put your opinion out there, yeah, let me get the, that pimento I gotta get the pimento off of that. You don't wanna cross pollinate. No, man, you can't, you can't yeah. This is scientific aren't. right here, all right. all right. Sir? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. The egg right. salad sandwich. The Cheers. Master's egg salad. No flavor. Horribly overrated. What? Bogey. Mm -mm. It is so over. This is the most overrated thing at the Masters. Now, you throw me some. You throw me some. <laughs> you throw me some Tabasco. You put some hot sauce on it, then we might. Then I might dance with your date. That is so overrated. Bogey on the egg salad. This right here. For me, as we film this, this is probably egg salad sandwich. I don't know, five, six, maybe even seven. There's no, there's no taste. Well, you might have some COVID leftover thing. <laughs> if you can't taste the subtleness of the egg and just a hint of mayonnaise in that. So, that is, so you don't like deviled eggs? No, I love deviled eggs because deviled eggs have flavor. That's deviled egg on a sandwich. No, it is not. There's more seasoning. But there's no it. over the top of it. That's the thing. This is what makes this egg salad so amazing is it, it has just the perfect amount of subtlety of everything. That's what the Masters is. When you walk into the Masters, they're not beating you over the head with anything. Everything there is subtle. 
that sandwich for me that is the go to every time all the time that's my eagle that's a bogey at a par five that's my eagle right there sandwich mm, mm, mm. number three all right. what did i just pull okay now the first two sandwiches we review, reviewed have had something similar in that it's it, it's almost like i don't want to use the term spread but it's a pre-made pimento cheese egg salad yes this next one we're staying in the salad form and another southern delicacy they love it down here we're going not salad that's not the classic chicken salad that's classic this chicken sandwich it's chicken sandwich that's you've the classic got the chicken sandwich okay so see? This is the, you've got the chicken salad yes so reading now, is not fundamental <laughs> for all of us i went to arizona state <laughs> <laughs> oh see? this is meant to be warm Mm, sometimes yes, sometimes no. But it's in no. the fridge. For the most part, these are served cold. I am going to tell the Maddie and the Caddy and ESPN YouTube audience something. I've never had one of these. Really? Yeah. I've never, I thought I was grabbing a classic chicken. No, man. This is the classic chicken sandwich. Oh, I screwed that sandwich. You're what, good. But what's on it? It's a fried chicken breast. With what? No, it, bread. That's why it's oh. called classic. There's nothing. It's just chicken. Double bogey. Dry. Now, see, that's the thing. It's dry. Because they're cold, they don't hold the moisture <laughs> very good. Um, The flavor of the chicken is fantastic. I was going to say, if you heat it up and you put a little something on it, you might have some. But as, as constituted right now. Mm-hmm. Yes. This will not help your constitution, speaking of constituted. <laughs> what? Did he, what did he say? Um... This is not one of my favorite sandwiches out there. A lot of people enjoy them and like them, but for me, it's like meh. All right, so we'll give you we'll give you our each individual power rankings in a moment. Yes. with that bogey. All right. All right. So that sandwich number four. Now, there, this, there we go. This is the chicken salad sandwich. That is the southern. Well, look, fried chicken southern delicacy. Yes, it they is. Love it, you know, very much so. The chicken salad. It's a it's a staple in every southern. Yes. Uh, eatery one bistro. sandwich if one sandwich has ruined the regular classic chicken sandwich and that is chick-fil-a so the Chick expectations chick-fil-a when you see that you're like yo this is like chick-fil-a and it's chick-fil-a the like tiger Chick woods of yes. chicken sandwiches this one mm. the, yeah the ernie l's can be good now ran into the wrong now road. for the chicken salad mm -hmm. sandwich this is completely different than that classic chicken sandwich that we just had. Chicken salad. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to go first. Lead us off. I'm going to tell you something. Since they put this on the menu, it's probably one of the most underrated sandwiches. There you go. That the Masters have. There you go. It's one of those things that when people go to the Masters... They normally wouldn't get this. But I'm telling y'all right now, you're missing out. Because this sandwich has exceptional flavor. The texture, everything about this sandwich is good. So good. Mm -hmm. This is like a Patrick Cantlay sandwich. Mm. Where he's not... The Tiger was the Roy McIlroy, the John Rahm, the Pimento Cheese. He's not the favorite. Mm -mm. But he's, he's good enough to where he could easily win the sandwich war. Chicken salad for me. Birdie. Mm. I think you birdie with it, and I think this is contending on my leaderboard for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Okay, sandwich oh. number five. Mm -hmm. Just by the wrapper, I can tell you this isn't going to go well for me, <laughs> for one reason and one reason only. I don't like rye bread. I can't stand rye bread. Really? There's something about the the seed or the flavor or something in it. It's a. If you don't like rye bread, that's why it's I, already you're going into it. Right, it's because our, it already it gives you that feeling like I'm not gonna, gonna like. Yeah, you, your your palate's like already it. warning yourself like you know what, yeah. dude, try it, but you're not gonna like it. Yes, this is the ham and cheese on rye. Mm -hmm. I like ham and cheese. Why they gotta screw it up with the rye? I never understood where that came from. What? Their why they went with rye? the rye? I don't know. Yeah. Here's the other thing too. Like that's why I've never really had a Reuben because I don't like rye bread. Now Reubens, I do enjoy. That's the other thing about. The chicken salad sandwich. Yeah, they use a honey wheat bread. It's a honey wheat bread. See now that that adds a little flavor to the Up palate. A level. You know, I, I want to point out right away. Yeah, Caddy and I have both of us have cut the sandwich this way. Yeah, neither of us has gone diagonal yet. Triangle. No, you do the triangle thing when you're in preschool. 
<laughs> when you you do that in preschool because it's an easy line to follow, so you know you're getting halvesies. Yeah, but when you're an adult, you can look at a sandwich and know you, how to cut it. But you get more half. sandwich if you cut it diagonal. Think about it. Here we go. Ham and cheese on rye. Does it? If you cut it diagonal, does it you, change the bread? You get more sandwich. Yeah. Oh, there's mustard on this. Uh, yeah, it's like a spicy mustard. No, no, not spicy mustard. The rye is too dominant. And it is a very dominant flavor. You know how rye has those yeah. little seeds in it? You definitely get those. This is very rye-y. Mm. Now, <laughs> having said that, the ham and cheese is good. Mm -hmm. You give me a ham and cheese on white, but for me, it's just not my style. I'm going to give it a par mm. because I'm not told it's one of the greatest things like egg salad. No. This is just a personal preference. Just don't dig the rye bread. Yeah. Sixth and final sandwich. This is it right here. My Maddie and the Caddy sandwich I'm review. I'm glad we saved this for last. What do we have? This. The Master's Club. The Master's Club. This one. This one. So for those who have now, never been in Master's Parlance, Master's Club is up there with the pimento and the egg salad in terms of power rankings. I just want to show everybody this. Number one. You go, wait a minute. Are there sesame seeds? There on are. There? Yeah. Show the side of it. Yeah. Look it. Like there's all like you there's stuff going there's on. There's debris. There are things going on in this sandwich, which takes it to the next level. So the club is is it, it's also a patron favorite. Oh yeah. As, I, I, I'm a fan of the club. Yes. All right. This is it right here. Cheers. Well done with the sandwich challenge as we close with the club. Cause you can eat me in the club, bottle full of Whatever you're drinking. This just feels master's good, I know. All right. Mm. Would you like to lead off? Mm -mm, go okay. ahead, man. I'm feeling. Here is the only thing. This, to me, is a solid par. It's not going to lose what? you. What? It's a par. Par is the baseline for good at a golf course. This is par. Here's why it's not a birdie. The mayonnaise. You've got to get rid of one. You can't have both. You can't have mustard and mayonnaise. What? Are, you can't who have. Who are you? You can't have mustard and mayonnaise. You either have the mayonnaise, which it would be. Incredible. Can you put ketchup and mustard on a hot dog? Can you put both? No. On a hot, dog? hot dog is mustard, relish, go away. You put mustard and ketchup on a hot dog, you have lost all credibility in this little exercise. I didn't. I didn't say relish. I said just ketchup and mustard. That's you put mustard and. Ketchup on a hot dog. What? Yeah, why couldn't you? Yeah. We turn the double play. Ever? I don't understand. This sandwich. Where to go ahead? This is, let me tell y'all something, okay? <laughs> Just don't, because you're going to trust the dude to send kids clothes or the dude that looks like he be eating these sandwiches <laughs> all the time, all day, every day, right? This right here is a grand slam. Wow. Of a sandwich, right? If you come to the Masters, there, for me, two sandwiches you got to get. It's the egg salad. Of course, everyone's going to get the pimento cheese. As a guy who came from the north, you get the egg salad, and then you crush one of these right here. Because this is like everything about this, mm. including the sesame on the bun, just puts nice you touch. in a good That's a nice place. Touch. Like, if you're walking around a golf course eating one of these... You can't be unhappy. You just, it's like skipping. Try to mean mug while you skip. Just go skip right now. Go, go out there and skip down the sidewalk and try not to laugh. I'm going to do it tomorrow at Amen Corner. Mm -hmm. I'm going to skip and frown while the ma mustard and mayonnaise ruins the palate like ketchup and mustard. And it, see, he ruins says a it, hot dog. He says it like it's a strong mustard. It's so subtle. But that's the point. It's that's just, what makes it so delicious. Like, There's two things you wouldn't necessarily put together. So subtly injected on this sandwich, it makes every you taste every single aspect of this sandwich. All right, so as we wrap up, would you like you to gave, get you? I can't believe you gave that man that's a par. That's no, all right, so double that's an albatross. Go ahead and rank albatross. Them. Caddy's rankings right. of Augusta National or the Masters. My Would rankings be, go as such Masters rankings. Here we go egg salad, number one, egg salad, number one, Masters Club. Very, very tight race at the end. I'm going to put that number two, but you could switch. These are interchangeable right here. Um, No. Give me the 
Where's the chicken salad? Chicken salad. All right. That's my number That's three. three. All right. Um, I'm gonna go pimento cheese number four. Wow. Yeah. The classic chicken. No, you know what? I'm gonna go ham on rye. Ham on rye number five, and then unfortunately, you know, you still got an invitation to the party. That's it. So, Steve, that's my ranking. He's just so something, something six, like. six, five. Four, three, two, gold medal. All right, Maddie's rankings of go. the Augusta or the Masters sandwiches. Here we go. Coming in at number six, classic chicken. It's not your fault you don't have the lube on it to make it like, <laughs> you know, like the mayonnaise or, or whatever you need, bar whatever. Classic chicken comes in at number six. Yep. At number five, ham and cheese on rye. Which I you think, already said is a personal. Right, but I think the base of it is good. So ham and cheese on rye, number five. Coming in at number four, egg salad. Egg salad comes in at number four. Coming in at number three, Master's Club. Coming in at number three, you know my thing, you can't do mustard and mayonnaise and make it work coming in at number two chicken salad i think it's one of the most underrated things about this place come to Augusta and get the chicken salad and without a doubt the number one sandwich here at the masters the pimento cheese for me those are my rankings this has been your food review we'll come up with some fun content each and every day here at augusta national but you know what that's as good as it gets mm. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.